Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of January 21st through the 27th. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising Signs. So Libra, for this reading, I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck along with the Moonology Oracle cards. Alright, Libra, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Alright, Libra, so some of you are closing the door on a difficult cycle. Let's see here. Now, with the Ten of Swords, there could be something that happens that leads up to that. And then others, this is just representing the worst being behind you already. This is you uh, completing a difficult time, a difficult cycle within your life. We have the Ten of Swords with the Seven of Wands. So maybe some of you had to fight for what you feel is right or stand up for yourself in some way. Seven of Wands is what I call that warrior spirit. This is someone who's not backing down, not giving up. This person ha actually has the advantage. They have a lot of inner strength as well, a lot of passion, a lot of courage. Uh, and as long as you're willing to fight for what it is that you want or not back down, not change your mind, you will be successful. So some of you maybe are coming out of a difficult time, maybe you really had to be strong and, and maybe fight for what it is that... that you deserve or what you feel is right um, so you actually have a wonderful spread here so some of you you know you went through a difficult time but you're coming out of that the overall energy Libra is the Queen of Pentacles so those of you that do work for a living you might be very very focused on your career on your job here at this time maybe finances making more money um, you know, maybe even um, bringing in that, that financial security uh, or, or more stability for those of you that work for a living. For those of you that don't work for a living, um, with the Queen of Pentacles here as the overall energy, you might be more focused on the family here this week or more focused on the home here at this time. Now, you could be decorating or redecorating uh, for some of you. Um, but we're starting out with the Six of Pentacles. So we have the Six of Pentacles, which can represent help, support coming in. Um, for some of you, that could be financial in nature. Um, maybe with the Ten of Swords, you could have went through like a difficult time. Maybe it was within your career or, or financially. But we have the Six of Pentacles here um, with the Nine of Cups which can represent wish fulfillment. It's emotional abundance with the eight of, of wands here. Some of you are definitely receiving some good news. Maybe it's something you're wishing for. So hearing something that you're wishing for, good news coming in. Some of you Librans receiving some sort of help. Um, you also might be in a place, Libra, financially. Uh, you might be in a position to help those around you, loved ones, family. Uh, here this week and you could be do you could be doing that here with the six of pentacles very generous energy um, also the eight of wands for me can represent a shift in the energy things looking up things moving forward um, here with the eight of wands so some of you are definitely closing the door on maybe a difficult time you're moving forward now we do have some feminine energy here definitely in the spread with the empress and then the queen of pentacles as the overall energy some of you could be dealing with a female here this week um but i'm definitely reading for some libran women so we have two queens we have the queen of pentacles as the overall energy and then we also have the queen of cups here so some of you Librans could have uh, Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, uh, but you also could even have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart. We do have the Empress, and you know, for some of you, you might be a very successful businesswoman, or you know, if if you've if you own your own business and you went through a difficult time, this is maybe things looking up for you. Libra. Um, this is a lot of financial abundance coming in for you. So uh, for some of you, things are definitely improving for you on the financial front. And again, you might be in a position now where you can help people. You can help those around you if they need help. 
Um, the Empress can be a mother. Uh, so some of you, maybe you're a mom uh, here in your family. Your children could be significant. Um, here this week, if you were waiting on news in regards to the family or your children or the home, um, news could be coming in here this week. For other Librans, no matter if you're male or female, with the Empress here, this is that fertile energy. So you could be giving birth to something that will be rewarding for you in many ways, and that could be fi financial for some of you. Uh, we do have success here with the Six of Wands. And, you know, with a couple of sixes here, that's the energy improving. With the two sixes and then the eight of wands here, uh, that's definitely the energy improving. Things may be feeling a little bit lighter for you here at this time. The six of wands can speak about success, victory, you feeling proud of yourself with the six of wands in the page of pentacles, news, messages coming to you, good news coming in. With strength here, you know, this could have been news that you're hearing that maybe you had to wait on. Strength can represent you, you know, going within and really relying upon that inner strength, being being strong when you need to be strong. Um, and, and, and that also includes, you know, going within and having the courage or the confidence um, when it comes to something, finding that inner courage or that confidence, moving forward confidently with the Six of Wands and strength. Uh, some of you here, we have the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign person. But for other Librans, you know, this... This can represent the energy around the full moon. So we have a full moon um, on the 21st. So, and that's a full moon in Leo. So for some of you, maybe right on the 21st, you might be hearing something. There could be some sort of news or information that's coming to you right on the 21st for some of you. Um, we see success here. We see success with the Empress, with the Eight of Wands, with the Nine of Cups, um, and then with the Six of Wands. You see the wreath here. So we have success coming to many of you. Um, and again, Ten of Swords, you may be leaving behind a difficult time, Libra. Um, but overall, as you can see, some really positive energy uh, to work with here. Let's pull you an additional guidance card. So some of you could be dealing with a woman here this week or a couple of women, definitely. Um, for other Librans, you could be a female. You might be a woman and I'm, I'm reading for you here. And again, you know, career, finance is very significant for some of you this week. Others, you know, the family, maybe your children, the home could be very significant. What else does Libra need to know? Additional guidance for Libra. Interesting. Wow. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So release what is no longer serving you, Libra. It's a good time to do that. So that can be really anything. That can be negative people, relationships, anything that's no longer serving you, a negative um, thought pattern. If you, you know, are someone who tends to kind of fear the worst or think negatively, you know, changing the way you think uh, here at this time, releasing anything that's no longer serving you. It's a good time to do that here this week. All right, Libra. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. I wish you guys a great week.